Hello all my young Abacus learners. Let's go ahead and start on our next series of the Rule of Three. You have already learned the Rule of One where we just are setting one bead at a time. Let's just quickly do that. Remember, position that pointer right up on that five bead and of course your thumb down on the, on the one bead because our thumb moves the beads up and our pointer moves the beads down. So let's just quickly count up to 10. With our thumb, we're moving beads up. Ready? One, two, three, four. We take that pointer and clear those four beads. Take the pointer and set the five. We just hang on to that five. Just place your pointer right there. Don't move it. Take your thumb and let's continue to count. Six, seven, eight, nine. And of course, our pointer clears the four. Our thumb clears that five. And the thumb is all ready to go down to that tens and set the ten. Ah, we love it. Clear those beads. Let's just go over the rule of two. So now my pointer is just going to hang out there up by that five bead, but I'm actually placing it right on that counting bar. And of course, you've got your little dots here so you can count ones and move it to the left, tens, hundreds. Oh, there's that beautiful little comma marker. And then of course, we get to the thousands. Let's move our pointer all the way back and let's set twos. So I'm setting two beads and I say two. I'm setting two more beads and I say four. And the rule of two is we always clear three. Okay, so we're going to clear three. Our pointer goes up and sets that five. And yep, five, six. We love that. Let's go ahead and set two, which gives us eight now. And when I say set two, we know the rule. We clear three and we keep clearing until we set a bead. So we've got eight now and I say set two. So we take our pointer and clear those three. Take our thumb and clear that five. And our thumb just goes right over and sets that 10. Easy, we love that. So let's go ahead and clear our board and let's work on setting threes. Okay, once again, my pointer is just up here by that five bead. You can hang it by the five or you can hang it right on top of that counting bar and let's count by threes. Okay, three beads go up. Okay, now our rule is clearing two all the time. So if I say set three more, then you are just automatically going to think I'm going to clear two with my pointer and my pointer goes right up and it sets that five and sure enough we have five and I touch that with my pointer, my thumb, I touch that one and say six. And then I say set three. Well, we have three beads below. So we just move our thumb all the way down that ones column and we move all three up. And sure enough, we have nine. And if we're counting by threes, we say three, six, nine, 12, 15. Well, looky there, math is always accurate and perfect. Okay, so I say set three. The rule is we need to clear two and we keep clearing until we set another bead. And of course, we know that's going to be in the tens column. So let's go ahead and do it. So my pointer comes down and I clear my two. Thumb goes up and clears my five. And my thumb just comes right back down to that ten. Sets the ten and lo and behold, my pointer counts ten, eleven, twelve. We are up to twelve. Ready, set, three. Well, we come down here, we only have two beads. Okay, we go up, but we know the rule that we clear two. Yep, we sure do, we clear two. And we go up with my pointer and we set the five. Sure enough, 10, 15, we're on a roll. Okay, here we go, set three. I'm just gonna leave my pointer right there, hanging out with that five bead. My thumb comes down, it moves up three beads, and lo and behold, we are all the way up to 18. We love it. Okay, set three, and the rule is we need to clear two, and we need to keep clearing until we can set a bead. So we go down, we clear that two, we go up to that five, <clears throat> and we clear that five and we go all the way to the tens and we set that 10 and sure enough 10 to 21 21 we're loving it 21 okay I'm gonna just hook my pointer right there on top of that counting bar 
and I say set three, and we move our thumb down. My thumb can easily count those, just move it down. One, two, three. Oh, I love that. We push them up, and sure enough, we have 24. Okay, let's do it again. Set three. We know our rule is we clear two beads. Move my pointer down. I'm clearing two beads, and my pointer moves up. And sets of five. Oh, we love it. 27. Here we go. Set three. Well, we go down. We only have two beads down there. No big deal. We know the rule. We clear two. Oh, that five beads already set. No big deal. We clear that also. And we take my thumb right down to the tens and we set another ten bead. Lo and behold, 10, 20, 30. We love it. Up to 30. Let's keep going. I'm just hooking my pointer right on top of that counting bar. Let's keep going. Okay, I just move my thumb down. One, two, three. Set three. Here we are. 33. Set three. So we clear two. Set five. Set three. Move up three. Set three. We know we clear two. Clear our five. Set a, set a 10. We've now got 42. Here we go, set three. Okay, only two there, but we know the rule. Clear two, set a five. Set three, here we are, 48. Set three, what's our rule? Clear two, clear a five. Ah, this is gonna be a fun one. Clear 40, pointer goes up and sets a 50. 50. Here we are, 51, beautiful. Set three and so forth. Just keep moving along, set those three, and our rule is clear too, and you will be rocking and rolling in no time. Have a great time, and we'll move on to setting fours as soon as you get those set threes down. Talk to you later.